What's up guys, Hong Yi in here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about Tai Chi and coming full circle. So before I get started, take a second to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So thank you very much for that. Um, so what do I mean by Tai Chi and coming full circle? Well, for those of you guys who don't know, give me one second, I'm just gonna adjust this, uh, what do you call this thing, this uh, tripod thing, there you go. Okay, so coming full circle. For those of you guys who don't know, um, I started off in traditional martial arts. So I actually did Kung Fu while I was 16, 13 years old at that time. I did about two years of uh, Hungar Kung Fu. Uh, so we learned a lot of forms, a lot of animal forms, styles and stuff like that. Horse stance and all kinds of stuff, breathing exercises. So I did that for two years. Then I switched over to Taekwondo because I, I wanted to fight and there was no sparring uh, at this club where I was at. Or I think there was some sparring but you'd have to wait until you become black belt and, and even then only if uh, maybe the master approves or, or something like that. So I went into Taekwondo because you know you could kick people at least. You had chest protectors and stuff like that. And mind you it was, uh, so I did Taekwondo for three years. And there was some sparring, but not as much as I'd like, not full contact. We had light contact sparring often, but not full contact very often because it required us to put on the, uh, you know, the, the headgear, the shin guards, the chest protector. So for whatever reason at that club, like, you know, they weren't pushing that as much. So anyways, after that, I ended up leaving Taekwondo. I did a little bit of self-defense. Um, I trained a little bit in self-defense and stuff like that, so for, for about, I don't know, maybe a year, two years, three years or something like that. I was doing that at the same time as Taekwondo, but then, anyways, eventually, in my 20s, I pretty much stopped and I, I spent my time uh, partying, you know, going out, having fun, and working. So, from 20 to 30, I pretty much didn't do anything, and then I, when, I was, when I got to 30 years, 30 years old, that's when I, I fell into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I did that for about six years. And then I did, uh, I did what now I'm doing Judo and wrestling, right? So I've been doing that for the past maybe, well Judo I've been doing for maybe about very close to three years now. And wrestling, I touched on it while I was doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, right? Cause they had classes at that club. And I'm currently doing it now once a week, um, you know, at the same time as judo. Okay, so, and guess what? I started doing Tai Chi this week, okay? And what do I mean by, why did I decide to all of a sudden start Tai Chi? Well, here's the thing. I, I, want, I want to try something new, start meditating, okay? Because I read somewhere that, you know, people who succeed and stuff like that uh, tend to meditate, have, you know, have to spend a little bit of quiet time in the morning to really get into the zone, focus your mind a little bit to relax. And the thing is, I have a hard time sitting down and just breathing. I just find it boring. So I discovered something called active meditation. So essentially what you're doing is you're doing the same thing as meditating. You're breathing and stuff, but you're moving at the same time. So then I realized, wait a second, that's that's fucking Tai Chi, right? So I'm like, so why don't I just go do Tai Chi instead? At least I'll learn some some moves. And at the same time, at this point, I think that I'm able to do Tai Chi, appreciate it for what it is, a a form of martial art that's, uh, that has a lot of um, benefits in terms of relaxation, uh, meditation, you know, uh, you, you, the mind-body connection. And so, and at the same time, like those moves are, you know, these forms that they do. Uh, one of the forms I'm, that we're doing now, and obviously I don't know them by heart, I'm still working on them. It's only been, today's been the, my, my second class there. So one of the forms is um, 
uh, it's called a 24 form, right? And then before that, we do a, uh, a Qigong sequence. I think it's the uh, eight blockade uh, from Shaolin, right? That's the Qigong part. After that, we go into 24 form. Then there's, I think, 48 form and then 42. For those of you guys who know Tai Chi, you guys will know what I mean by that. And so anyways, um, I'm sure these forms are, how do you say, they're, they're combat oriented, okay? Now we go really slow and stuff like that, but I think that with my knowledge of practical uh, martial arts, meaning sports combat and, you know, and practical in the sense that they have sparring and stuff like that, I think I'm going to be able to figure out how to make some of these moves work. And it's not my main goal though, but it's funny how when I look at it now, I have a bigger appreciation for, for this kind of stuff because when I first started off in uh, doing Kung Fu, I was like, oh yeah, this stuff is cool, it's fun. And then at one point there was no fighting, so I left. But all this to say that after Kung Fu and Taekwondo and doing a little bit of self-defense, like I kind of just, you know, gave up on those traditional martial arts. And when I started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and then Judo and then wrestling, I was very, um, very single minded, very close minded in, in the sense that I, I just thought that these are the sports that work, the martial arts that works and everything else is just bullshit, you know, but I've come to realize now that, you know what, it's not, it's not the way to see it. I think uh, we can learn from the traditional arts as well as the, the combat um, sports. Uh, comp, more practical martial arts and you know I made this I talked about this on the last video how to make uh, any martial art work so basically about adapting it and stuff like that so I think that you just have to keep an open mind take what's useful adapt it and then there you go and if you don't um, if you don't find it useful then don't don't take it now one of the reasons why also that I, I started taking up Tai Chi is because, yeah, I wanted to meditate, a form of meditation relaxation. I want to learn stuff like that. And since I can't, I'm not the type of guy who could sit down and just breathe, uh, you know, I like to move. At least I'll move slowly, but I'll be doing some kind of martial arts. So I, I figured Tai Chi would be perfect. So mind-body connection, breathing, and might as well learn some, some really cool looking forms at the same time. And to me, it's coming full circle in the sense that I came from, how do you say it? Like traditional arts are, you know, in, in my opinion, like softer, you know, because you don't fight. Not that they're, they're soft as in you can't, you know, actually hurt somebody with them, but I'm just saying because there's no sparring. And then from there, I went into stuff that, man, all we do is fucking fight all the time, you know? And fighting and lifting weights, and this is hard, this is hard on your body. So now I'm going back to something soft. Not that I'm quitting judo or any of that or, or, or wrestling, no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's still who I am. That's, that's my bread and butter, so to speak, as a, as a martial artist. But I'm coming full circle in the sense that, okay, now I'm, I'm going back to soft too. I'm incorporating some soft stuff back into my um, martial arts training uh, so I could further develop and also so I could um, uh, relax my muscles, breathe and, and you know work on that whole Qigong thing which I find is important because you know in life I mean you know it's like the whole yin and yang principle you have to have the heart but you have to have the soft, you know, the male, the female. If you just go hard all the time, eventually you're gonna break something. And if you're just always soft, then then when something goes bad, right? Or or when you're challenged, then you just you, you, you crumble up and die, so to speak, or you get crushed, right? So you have to have both, and uh, that's where I'm going with this. So I don't know what you guys think about that. Leave uh, leave your comments below. Do you guys practice? Uh, you know both combat sports and and a form of uh, more traditional art and even and even though you're aware that it would take a lot of modification and adaptation for it to work but it doesn't matter it's not about that you know it's about being more yin 
having enough yin and having enough yang uh, in your approach. So full circle doesn't mean that it ends there, okay? So the way I see it, okay, is let's say you, this is the point and now we're circling out. Once I come full circle, I basically just stretch out, go wider and keep going and keep going. And essentially this can go on forever. Kind of like layers. Onions. An onion has layers. That's what I mean by that. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. I hope that was uh, uh, somewhat entertaining, insightful. And if it was, then like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And of course, share this video. It helps me grow. So I appreciate that very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your time. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.